This is a... In general. Yeah, it's a Shakti Yantra, it's Durga. See, in, in India, there is a tradition, a Shakti tradition. Um, you know, there's Shiva, who is the sort of male principle, and there's Shakti, who's the female principle. And so, um, so there's a whole tradition of worshiping the female principle, the goddess. Uh, there are 10 Mahavidyas, the, the um, expressions of the goddess. You've heard of deities like Lakshmi or Kali, or, you know, these are, you know, uh, along that line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a, that's one of the cool things about the Vedic tradition is there's something for everybody. Um, if you're a person who likes uh, the idea of devotion, you know, you, you can pick your favorite deity and, and you have a whole devotional path that can be related to that. Uh, if you're a person who has a tendency to be quite rational, there's a path for you, you know, a path of, of discrimination. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a person who likes to meditate, you can do that. If you, you know, and this particular tradition basically um, is devoted to the divine feminine. And the feminine is interesting because if you think uh, of um, what all of the all of the devotional prayers, all the mantras, all of them do the same thing, which is basically get you to surrender. And if you take a mantra like, you know, Om Ganapataye Namaha, the mantra to Ganesh. So that mantra at the end of the mantra says Namaha, which means I surrender. And surrendering is simply the, div the, the divine feminine. If you think, for example, in the sexual union of male and female, um, it's the female principle that surrenders. And it's considered to be the, that superior response, essentially, that allows the person to transcend because essentially the transcending experience is an act of surrender. Mm -hmm.